Hey guys. Look at that. Hello. Hello. Almost the whole family's in today. It's cooking. It's cooking day today. My cat. So you guys, I know Suzanne said she was coming back on Wednesday. She's she's doing Friday this week. Suzanne and Alan will be back on Friday. Okay, wait, so. I should probably clean the screen, right? No, it's fine. Yeah. Hmm. Hi. Hi. Hey guys, happy holidays. We are cooking today. Nina says, hi, ladies. Hi, hi. Hi, hi Nina. Arch Exam 2018 says, shout out to my homies. <laughs> homies. So Violet and I are in the kitchen today, and Bruce is here, so we have a nice little There's my representation. gathering. She loves it when I do this. Uh, mm -hmm. But we're not sitting, so it's different. <laughs> I go for a soft touch where I know I could escape if I needed to. <laughs> um, we got Chicago joining us, Montreal joining us. Hi, hi, welcome from everywhere. You guys, it is a we have we have two we have a confluence of sales today. We have the last day of the Santa sale. So as you guys know, that's been Santa 25 or Santa 30. For 25% off or 30% off if your order is over $100 and free shipping. So today is the last day for free shipping. We are no longer guaranteeing Christmas delivery with regular um, mail service. Wah, but, wah. but you still get free shipping. So if you want to jump in on that today, where's my little sign? Oh. Okay, this is the last day for free shipping. Sorry, Instagram, it's backwards. So this is your promo code, Santa25 or Santa30. 25% off or 30% off if the order's over $100. And you do get the free shipping. That is for the contiguous United States. That's sale one. Sale two, oh, oh, oh. 24 days of what? savings today, you guys, are these beautiful Infusio gift sets. We have two sets. This is the Meyer lemon set. It's got the Meyer lemon olive oil, the basil olive oil, the pomegranate balsamic, and the vanilla fig balsamic. You can see it comes in these gift size or trial, you know, for, for those of you who are like, ah, I wanna order, but I don't know which flavor I want, 3.4 ounces. And you know, you use so little of these gorgeous glazes that this is a great way to try everything, but it also is the most beautiful hostess gift. Um, if you have somebody who is a spectacular cook, you will wow them with these because they are that good. If you have someone who is a shitty cook, you can turn that person into a great cook with these amazing infused olive oils, balsamic vinegar. The balsamics are aged 12 years. It's more like a glaze. So you use just a tiny amount. This is the white peach. So either set or both sets. These we rarely mark down. This is a $100 set. You get it home for $69.99. It's 30% off today. Everything's available at SuzanneSummers.com. So if you get this today, it's going to be free shipping and handling because you can still use the Santa 30 promo code on that. So I have a whole bunch of things that I'm going to make for you. Bye, that's going to help me. Ready? Yeah. Wait, so which one's your favorite? Uh, so hard to say. It's like... Depends. Which one, which one on ice cream? It's like, I mean, I love oh. them on ice cream. Yeah. I love the black cherry on ice cream. That's really good. Never thought of that, huh? Some, with like a little bit of dark chocolate. It's really good. I've seen a lot of people putting olive oil on ice cream recently. Just yeah, regular yeah, olive oil? It's great on ice cream. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to make first. I'm going to make you a baked camembert. Yum. Okay, this is a camembert. It's a triple cream cheese that comes out of France. Come to me, honey bun. Okay, so... This People is are liking your glasses, Violet. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so here's what we're going to do first. We are going to make this a pomegranate pistachio baked camembert. So this is what we're going to do first, Bruce. We're scoring it. What's the score? Who's winning? 
Everyone is going to win with this holiday appetizer. Wow. Because so everyone gets a per- Dad participation. Dad joke and mom turning it into a sale. <laughs> uh, we got Austin, Texas. We got Philadelphia. Freedom calling in. Ontario. Man, uh, people all over okay. the world. So you see how I, I, I scored that? It's just going to help us infuse the flavor. Violet, could you please grab me the pomegranate? This one? Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to use my little mini set because I have the large size. Where'd you get those? Well, I use them almost every day. So I'm just going to pour a so little bit. So you can put it on before you bake. I'm going to put it on before, and I'm going to bake it into this. Holly it's Cruz. A just emphatically said, black cherry. Black cherry. <laughs> black cherry would be amazing on this as well, but look at this gorgeousness. You can see how thick it is. Amarillo, Texas, North Carolina. Wow, that's pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna put just a little bit on there, and then I'm going to put- Are you gonna brush it with a basting brush? Um, I'm going to let it just ooze in, and then I'm going to put the pistachios and the pomegranates on after. This is going, she going into the oven. 350. This is going to be 10 to 12 minutes. Uh, Could you set a timer or watch the clock Mm -hmm. for me? Okay. All right. So that's going in there. You just want it to get gooey, and it kills. This recipe actually kills. A lot of people, like in the 70s, that's when we learned to make baked brie, you know, brie on croup, which is making kind of a comeback right now because who doesn't love a melted brie? So we're twisting it for you today with that pomegranate. Okay, um, by the way, we are now going to make the salad. Oh. Okay. Okay, this is, will you, will you hold that up? This is frise. Wow. <laughs> Looks cold. This is a, a young escarole. <laughs> yeah, well, young, young. <laughs> Mommy just got it. <laughs> it's, a, it's a baby escarole, a baby escarole, which is called frise. It, certainly you can use any kind of lettuce you find. I love the color of this because um, it just has that, those beautiful like chartreuse leaves and it's really pretty. So I'm just going to make enough for one salad. And so I put this um, wash in a bowl. So then I'm gonna show you what the toppings we're gonna make. We're making um, pears with vanilla, vanilla fig is the balsamic we're going to use on this. And what olive oil? Maybe I'm gonna use the blood orange, herb de Provence. Blood orange with vanilla fig? Yeah, or maybe the herb de Provence. Okay, these two. Herb de Provence or and, basil. and vanilla fig. Basil I'm going to use in the wild rice. Okay, so this is what our salad is going to be. And it also has this gorgeous. We got Boston in the house. Hey, Boston. You guys are my people. We got Wisconsin. We got Amarillo, Texas. Good old San Diego. This is St. Agour, which is a beautiful, creamy blue cheese. Um, you can also use... Uh, Maytag blue, you could use Roquefort, any of your favorite blues. So, what do you think St. Agour was famous for? St. Agour? Yeah. Oh, no, and then I have some hazelnuts. So that's what's happening. And then I also have these gorgeous pears. I picked three different kinds because I just think they look pretty. So I'm leaving the skin on them here. And then I'm going to cut them into little stacks. And I'm just going to let these like line up the salad like this. New Orleans, Old Lime, Connecticut. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. So Pittsburgh, PA. Four. All right, Violet. Will you open that herb de Provence for me, please? Mm-hmm. Tennessee, right Arkansas. Howdy, y'all from Arkansas. Am I gonna drizzle it? Um, well, you're gonna open it for me. You can wow. drizzle it. Just a little, because it's just this one little sound. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> little Violet. Never thought I'd get to open an olive oil. <laughs> Let me see if it's enough. Is that what that was? Good. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? You don't wanna 
No, no, brown. Okay, and then we're going to put the salt and pepper. I'll pepper it. Okay, and then I like to use this balsamic right on the top rather than dress the whole thing. You see, it looks prettier. Okay. Oh, that's just uh, the tanks rolling down our street. We have construction up the street. <laughs> so lovely. Okay. Um, before I put the rest of this on, I forgot that we have a third huge Wow, Today, it's a confluence. Discuss. You guys, gift cards have launched. What? So if you missed your shipping deadlines or you still really don't know what to get for that person who's just indecisive and you feel like whatever you get them they don't like, let them pick their own gift. You can send a gift card. You send it digitally. You send someone a $50 gift card, we send you an extra $10 gift card. If you send someone a $100 gift card, you get an extra $25 gift card. You can keep them both for yourself. You can give them both away. It's up to you. When you order, the, the gift card comes to you like the next day. So give the team a little bit of a chance to give you your bonus. This is available through the holiday at SuzanneSummers.com. And this is always like a screaming because for those of you who shop with us a lot, like why not just spend $100 and get $25 for free? That's And then you can double it and get the discount 30% off. Not, you can't discount a gift card. What? <laughs> One promo. What? <laughs> oh man, okay. sorry guys, I tried to game the system for you. Yeah. Okay, so first, come on first. Okay, so this is our salad. Pancetta. Oh. Okay. Little know, cubes of like bacon. This salad. Um, will you get me, thank you, sweetie. A spoon, oh, a fork would be good too. Oh, yeah. This is the pancetta. If you can't find pancetta, you may use regular bacon. Um, but or use prosciutto. thick cut. Okay, so that's that gorgeousness. Thanks, And then we're going to put these, we're going to nestle these pretty little pears in here. This is a really nice starter for your holiday meal. And I like salads with a, a bunch of fun stuff in there, so. Are you making a face? Nice. You're making a face. See, it's a little oh. lopsided smiley face. Okay, then we want some of this beautiful cheese. Adele has a bathroom full of Suzanne's products and I have the oil products in the kitchen. Oh, awesome. Yeah. How are we doing on time on our brie, on our camembert? Not right yet. Okay. Okay, this is that beautiful. Look how soft and creamy this is, you guys. It's gorgeous. Creamy. We love this cheese. And, you know, you want to make sure you get. Oops. Ah. Ah. <laughs> you want to make sure you have a little tastiness in every bite. Obviously, you could toss this together if that floats your boat, but I kind of like I kind of like this. Red Lotus precise. Gems nailed it. Yum, like butter. Okay, now we're gonna put on the vanilla fig, and then the last thing we'll do is just put on a few hazelnuts. Somebody said this salad is a work of art. Oh, thank you. So just a drizzle, because you can see how thick this is. And the cheese is Sanagor, somebody asked again. And just a couple creamy, little. Creamy blue. So that's, Yum. I mean. Look at this. Oh, book cover. Look at that. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. I need someone to eat this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you still need that? <laughs> Who could possibly yeah. eat this for me? Uh, I'll, 
Yeah. Do you want? I, oh, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can't quite have cheese. Sometimes. Why don't you come on this side, baby? No, no, this way. Okay. Damn. You guys can that. see Santa's workshop over there. No shooting that way. Oh, wow. That's gorgeous. Okay. Wow. You got a little bit of everything in there? Yeah, except a pair. Oh. Yeah. Shut the front door. Is <laughs> it good? So good. People. Aww. I love babies. <laughs> First course. Mm -hmm. Winner. Winner, winner. Such a good one. Winner, winner. People are asking winner. what other type of cheese would work. They don't like blue. I feel like a goat cheese would also maybe work. Sure. Yeah. Goat would work. So many good. Oh, Caroline, you inspire me. What balsamics would you recommend on Brussels sprouts? Oh, you know what? Cindy, Ma Cindy McKay. Um, Mackey. Cindy, we actually did a Brussels sprout recipe last time we were at Suzanne and Allen's, and I used the van I sautéed them in regular extra virgin olive oil, and then I used the balsamic fig right at the end. This one, um, but I mean, I, the pomegranate would be great. The black cherry would be great. There is a recipe on SuzanneSummers.com. On the navigation bar, you guys go to Explore and then drop down to Recipes, and that's where you'll find all the recipes that we've done for Asia. Time um, to check the brie. Okay, time for the camembert check. Okay, so that was number one. God, I really was supposed to shoot a picture of that before we ate it. Mm. Well, will you remind me where you need to take a picture before we eat okay. this? Brie check, brie check. check. Camembert, camembert. Ah, what's the score? What's this? Oh, wait, I burned my mm. I don't know. Should this have more time, Mom? Let me see. You want it to be... Um, she's pretty gooey in there. Okay. I think she could go another couple minutes. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I just was following directions. Oh, follow directions really well. <clears throat> oh, someone was asking split. how long they last. I mean, two, three years. I like guess. a week because you're going to go through them? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had one go bad because, you know, the balsamics are aged for so long anyway. You don't need to put them in the refrigerator. They stay on the counter after they're open. Um, the oils after, I mean, after many, many months, they might start to not taste as fresh, but I haven't had them go back. Um, okay, next up, let's make the rice. Mm. Okay, so I've already cooked everything for the rice, and I'm just going to kind of assemble it here. I didn't use a blend. I used all, uh, that's for the camembert. The nuts this on. usually goes in there? It is, but I'm gonna use the, uh, okay. the cranberries. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this in a pretty serving dish. We got this for our wedding, do you remember, Bruce? I do. From our friend Cliff Chang. Hey, Cliff. I'm not sure he's watching, but you never know. You never know. We got people from all over the country, all over North America. Haven't seen anyone from another continent yet. Oh, Suzanne usually has people from well, another continent. Yeah. I just, guys, nobody's Alan mentioned are, it. Suzanne and Alan are going to be back on Friday this week. They had to go to some appointments today, so they had to move the date. Some uh, baked sweet potato. I just cubed it. I like how it adds a festive color. You may use butternut squash. You may use yam. 
Sometimes I use persimmons if I want that to be the little bit of sweet in there. But it just makes for a nice color. Festive. We call it festive wild rice. Okay, Violet, you want to put the a sprinkle of um, these are dried cranberries. You want to sprinkle them in? You don't have to do all that. <laughs> hey, from Florida, does that count? Yes, that's now international, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then we love you, Florida. And then we are also putting in a bunch of fresh herbs, just because it makes the flavors herbs. right. So <laughs> parsley. I go heavy on the herbs. Um, this is basil and tarragon. Whatever herbs you like. But it really does give it a really fresh. And then I'm going to wait. stove honeymoon yeah okay so okay and then we're going to use a balsamic on here oh this is gooey oh okay oh you can put it right over here Dom. Okay. okay the rice is going to have to just wait because oh okay well, we'll let yeah. that sit for one moment you need someone to try it I will in one second. <laughs> okay, so are we gonna balsamic this? No, no. If it needs a balsamic. No. You could certainly add a balsamic if you wanted to, but look how beautiful and festive that don't, rice is. Don't you is. kind of get the sweetness mm. from the? You have a, you have the, the sweetness from the cranberries and yeah. a little bit of the sweet potato. From the yam. You want to try it? Is it a sweet yeah. potato or a yam? This is this is actually a garnet. I was looking for garnet yam, and yummy. And it just said, I am what I am. Yeah, but it said garnet sweet potato, which I didn't know there was a garnet sweet potato. I thought it was called garnet yam. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I usually serve duck confit at Christmas, and this is what I serve on the side. And um, I don't know, it just cuts the richness of the duck, and I love it. I so love this dish. It's also really good cold. Mm -hmm. um, Margaret Dinah. Oh, I forgot oh, wait. the nuts. Oh. All those herbs are so Sorry, Michelle Stickney wants to know who does the dishes after dinner. Dad. What? And Jeff, what do you think? Yeah. You those guys, sound like two great guys. Nuts, a few pine nuts but at I the end, too. I have put things away. Yeah, I have to taste this. I actually offered to do the dishes often, but my dad doesn't like them. No, I'll let you do it. I, I, I'm down. Really? Yeah. He says I do the dishes, but then I get insulted because he says I do the dishes like my grandma. Well, Violet doesn't like to touch the soap or no, the sponge. No, so he says you do it like your grandmother. It's kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the inside joke there is um, for all the amazing things that Suzanne does, wow. so dishes ain't one of them. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Zeta does. Yeah. 
He's he's like you. She mm. cooks and he doesn't. This is yeah. so good. Say it is not as good as Daddy actually. Oh. Lisa Zambone is reminding us, you guys are eating without taking photos. Thank you. If I take a, if I take a frame like this, we can take a still frame. Cover. There it is. All yes. right. All right, here we go. So this is, it is so good. And Bruce, I'm gonna let you taste it in a minute, but okay. we have to get back to this camembert mm. because she's kind of a star today. And we need- Camembert is my favorite kind of bear. <laughs> God. Yes, and so frugal. Okay, we're gonna put a few pistachios on here because it's wow. gonna make it look very festive. Wow. And then we are going to put. Teresa Ashworth wants to know where your other daughters are at. Do we have other daughters, plural? Caroline, is this something you haven't told me? We have another daughter. She's working today. <laughs> Violet, you didn't double dip. Good job. <laughs> uh, okay. My mom gets mad when I do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, Violet, can you get Daddy's camera out of his phone and take this picture? Yeah. I mean, his phone out of his pocket. Okay. okay. Wait. Are you ready? Wait. Don't don't touch. Okay, you're gonna get the whole thing. Yeah. Here, well, let's take this off. Here, put it. So Lorraine Grignon is making a really nice offer to you, Caroline. She said you can cook for her any day. <laughs> you don't know how many people have said that to me. All my friends, people I barely know, they're always saying, can your mom just cook a meal for me? I'm like, get in line, sweetie. Can you do one up and over? Yeah. Oh, yeah. With just a little of the infuso in the back. Just tip up a little. Ah, oh, there you go. Pictures. Gorge. Okay. Love it. Okay, you guys, here it comes. Ready? Tell me you're not gonna make this wow. at Christmas. Look at this. Wow. Oh my God. Gooey, juicy, <laughs> creamy. Are you doing Zanny impressions? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, look what's happening. Oh. <laughs> Can you see how that pomegranate balsamic is in there? Wow, that Damn, looks so good. Damn, sister. Then, it's coming to you guys. Here you go. Bruce, up and over to you. Wait, yep. you have to show him eating. No, here, do it over here. Don't yes. don't show my Santa table over there. It's gonna be, uh, <laughs> It's gonna be. Oh, that's so cute. I toasted Oh, the, did you hear that the, crunch? The you gotta toast the bread, you guys. You don't want a soggy piece of bread under that. Yeah. That was a crunch. Was it good? No, she doesn't sound like Suzanne at all. <laughs> oh, it was Snarky Sparky again. <laughs> I should have guessed. Snarky Sparky. Checks, love her. checks every time. Gotta love her. <laughs> <laughs> at least she knows her name. She's true to her name. They love each other, says Nina Valentino. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. I cook you clean. Mm -hmm. Is that so good? Mm -hmm. I mean, so good. Uh, I love it. One more, That'd be a good name for a book. Another one? Do you want so good. Recipe, please, for this dip with pomegranate. Okay. You guys saw me make it. What's on you top of the You take the brie? camembert, and all I did was put the balsamic infusio, which is right here. I mean, sorry, the pomegranate balsamic. And then, oh, sorry. and then I baked it at 350 for, I think it took us about 12 or 15 minutes until it's nice and soft and gooey. And then I put pistachios on the top and some pomegranate. Mm. And then I put it on a cute platter with some herbs. Do you and want this? Or, oh, are we doing another one? Wow. Oh. Why is Bruce so pink faced? Yeah, I get that Sorry. comment a lot. Oh. <laughs> this is stupid. <laughs> you guys, this is stupid. Go make this. It's so easy, too. Unbelievable. Do you toast the pistachios? They are already toasted, yes. I always like my nuts toasted. I like them toasted and salted because it. You, like you get a little sweet from the pomegranate balsamic. You get. Don't. <laughs> you get. <laughs> Salty from the roasted nuts. 
And then you get that creamy. I was just going to say, who doesn't like toasty nuts? Someone said, he's breathing, question mark. <laughs> he's breathing? Hopefully. <laughs> Ideally. Where's your apron from, Caroline? It looks great on you. Everyone's obsessed. My niece bought this for me. Oh, it says Caroline on it. That's mine. She bought it for me, I think last Christmas or maybe the Christmas before. Look at the sunset. What kind of bread did you use? Do you want mm. this? Sure. Not, yeah, I can do it. I used a baguette from this bakery called Tartine. LK4 Beauty came up with the solution. I'm Irish. It's an Irish thing. That's what I'm thinking. I, I'm sticking with that. vanilla fig, and this one is blood orange, herb de Provence, with the black cherry and the white peach balsam. Black cherry! Which set are you personified? If you had to be one of the vinegars or oils, which one would you be? Pomegranate. Pomegranate. Okay, I see that for you. What about you? I, I mean, I have Provence. to say the, the, the Meyer lemon oil, I didn't visit her today because she just always gets so much attention that I just felt like some of the other celebrities in the room needed some attention. Oh. Meyer lemon's um, a three. Work. <laughs> yeah. So, but, and the Meyer, Meyer lemon's a Leo. <laughs> but listen, they're both. Oh, are you doing that Zodiac stuff again? <laughs> Not again. <laughs> Additional. It's one fifth if you get the fifty dollars. One we, fifth additional. We make one it better if you spend the hundred dollars. So, Violet, your this is your phone here. Yeah. It is. They were getting blurry comments. You want to just wipe the lens off? Here we go. Can you just wipe it from there? No, because uh, I need to open the whole thing. Uh, so, is this gonna bother people? I, I think it's already bothering them. Oh, sorry. <laughs> How to clean your phone. I think you need to use your t-shirt. It's going to get it better than your sweater. All right. We did put another fig on that salad, right? Look at that. Go so figure. Clean. So clean. Just have to make this pretty. Okay. Better? Mm. As hard as I try, it's always greasy. I love this salad. I love this salad. I love the vanilla fig. 
you don't need a lot, guys, unless you're Camellia Summers. Camellia. <laughs> Camellia loves Camellia baseball makes suits. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'll give you back to my father here. Percent off if you use promo code Santa25. If you want something over a hundred dollars, you can use Santa30 for 30% off. Free shipping in the contiguous United States today is the last day of free shipping. Unfortunately, we cannot guarantee Christmas delivery, but you might get it by Christmas, and we do have some expedited shipping options for you. So we're gonna just go over here, these last where we go. Here. Okay. We made that gorgeous festive wild rice. That's going to be a great side if you're serving roast beef, or maybe you're a person who likes turkey, or maybe you're someone we're, we're making duck confit. Um, that's going to be our side. This is the most gorgeous starter. It is this amazing camembert, and you can see it stays melty for a while. So if you want to just maybe switch up your charcuterie board a bit, the pomegranate balsamic in here, and then a few fresh pomegranates on top because it just makes it very festy for this, festive for the season. That's beautiful. And, okay. oh, you want it? No, oh, you good. can eat it. No, no, I'm not eating it. I was going to eat it too. <laughs> and then you have the gorgeous first course, frise with... <laughs> with pancetta and fresh pears and St. Agour and the vanilla fig balsamic with the blood orange? Herb de Provence. Herb de Provence is what we used on there. Right? Yes, Herb de Provence. So that's it, guys. That's our, that's our cute little holiday cooking show. What can you say to the people who are secretly doubting? What makes these oils and vinegars different from what I could get to the store, at the store? I haven't seen anything like this at the grocery store. Um, when Bruce and I were in Italy, because Violet used to live in Italy, um, that's where she went to school, so we spent quite a bit of time over there, and I didn't, I, I saw pomegranate, I mean, I saw balsamic glazes that were this good, very expensive, very high-end, um, but I didn't see a lot of flavored balsamics or infused olive oils. They're, they're beautiful products. Suzanne found these. And I'm telling you, if you are not a good cook, these make you a spectacular cook. And if you are a great cook, you will be impressed. So I hope you get to jump in on these. It really does make for such a nice gift. Look how this, look how this comes to you. So this is the box. And then these just line up right here. So it's such a, such a nice presentation. You know, we don't always spend the money on packaging. We did it on this. Somebody asked which which balsamic that. is the most savory. The most savory. The traditional. The, the the, the, there's a traditional one, but it's not in the gift set. So look how cute that is. That is a great gift. And then it comes with your little jacket on it here, which just makes it so pretty and elegant. I love giving this as a present. People freak over it. I I. It's a great way to teach people to cook who aren't great cooks. You can use these balsamics, drizzle a little bit over a chicken breast or a lamb chop or a steak and it just makes everything just delicious. So your salads come alive, your vegetables come alive. Asparagus or green beans with that Meyer lemon or the blood, it's so good. And they, they really can like take a charcuterie board and make it quite special. So anyway, that's our show. Today. Yay! Yay! Little Violet and Bruce for helping out today and um, letting me do my thing and being the best eaters ever. Um, we're back on Friday. Suzanne and Alan are back on Friday and um, they have a fun show in store for you. So, Friday, 4 p.m. Pacific. We'll see you guys then. Bye! Bye! Lots of hearts. <laughs>